Marisol Fonseca. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> you know, you know. All right, so um, like you heard, this is my first time performing out of my bathroom, so no one's ever heard my poetry, so just bear with me. Um, cool, cool. All right, so the first poem I'm going to read is called um, The Drug Called Her. Um, I'm just gonna give a little intro, I guess, about what it's about. Um, I was going through a breakup, and you know, alcoholism runs in my family, and it was just like a reminder when I wrote this that you know I don't want to go down that road, and whatever I do to get over the breakup, that all my feelings are still gonna be there, so enjoy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've been given talks about many things in this lifetime. Respecting girls, weed, alcohol, school. I've been warned by all those things, but why no one warned me about you? About how fucking quick someone can just sweep you off your feet. How someone can be so addictive. How one kiss can have me intoxicated. How one touch gives me goosebumps all over. How one person can make me smile without saying a word. How their presence alone is unmatchable. Why is there so much talk about, about alcoholism and drugs, but no talk about how one person can mess you up and bring you to this dark road? And that's, that's how some can get into consumption of drugs or alcohol. I understand now why people go to that after they lose their first addiction, just to try and feel what they felt with that person one more time, but sadly, Bottle after bottle, shot after shot, no matter how much you consume or inhale, nothing, no amount can make me feel how I felt with her. So that was one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All so the next one is called The Game of Love. Um, going through a breakup again, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, it was from a past, yeah. <laughs> It was, going, it was a past relationship, um, adultery happened, I was foolish taking her back, but you know, happens, life. Um, so yeah, so the game of love. I love you, I love you, I love you. Did you hear me? Let me say it again. I love you, I love you, I love you. But I've learned that love, love doesn't fix anything and everything. Love is not like what it is in the movies. Love is, love is hard. Love is scary. Love is a game that you need two people to play, not just one. Love is different for everyone. Love is like a plant. You need to nurture it so it will survive. Love is a game for two, not one. So, so why did you leave me to the game by myself long before telling me, while still claiming you loved me? Love is a game of two, not one. But I guess I learned to play my own game because I learned to love myself since you wouldn't. Like I said, love is like a plant. You need to nurture it so it would survive. I noticed I neglected the love in myself. I've now learned love is also a game of one, and it's called self-love. <laughs> so this one's called um, Reclaiming Sol. For family and close ones, my family also and friends call me Sol, Marisol, cool son, yeah. All right, <laughs> so um, the title speaks for itself. So yeah, all right. I went from writing love poems about you to, tri to sorry, sorry, I'm gonna start again, okay. I went from writing love poems about you to trying to figure out how to live life without you. Wondering how life is gonna be because I was never planning to desert you. I was hoping this was a forever thing Never thought we would turn into a uh, I once knew her type thing. See, I know everything happens for a reason and everyone is put in your life for a reason. I didn't want you in my life for just a season or a lesson. I wanted you in my life forever. And now my whole world was torn right down to the letter. I wish you well forever, again. I know everything happens for a reason and right now I may not comprehend that reason. See, I went from writing love poems about you to trying to figure out how to live life without you. I guess it's time to say goodbye and take this time to take a self deep dive into my mind. 
Let the self-love journey begin. All right, so this is my last one. <laughs> um, this is just about living in the moment. Um, it's called To Live, so again, self-explanatory. Yeah. All right, so death is inevitable. I can die today, I can die tomorrow, I can die right after finish, right, oh my gosh, I'm gonna just start again, I'm so sorry. All right, <laughs> death is inevitable. I can die today, I can die tomorrow, I can die right after I finish writing this. I can take my last breath tonight for all I know. I do not know when I will go. I do not know where I will go after I am dead. But what I do know is time is something we cannot control. But then again, time is all we have right now. Let's live in the now. Let's go on adventures while we still can. Let's go get shit-faced and run in the field. Let's be free. Because we do not know when we are going to die. So let's live while we still can. Let's really live. Let's put down the phone and actually live. Seems, seems like a good idea. Bye, I'm gonna go live. Thank you.